Today is a very special day and I'm so honored uh, to be able to interview and get to know a, a, a wonderful influencer in this nation. His name is Frank Shelton. Oh, welcome, Pastor welcome, Jen, welcome. you're amazing. So and you know what? You're, you're a Shelton at one time too. I know. That was my maiden name. I, know, I love it. And, uh, you know, our family um, were five generations on Washington, D.C., but the Sheltons, we actually come from England. Wow. So my mom worked for the U.S. Capitol Historical Society. My dad worked at the U.S. Capitol. Mom's pregnant with me. She goes into labor, President's Day weekend. I almost was born in the hallways of Congress. Oh. And a lot of people come to visit. I'm like, no, I was born to work here. But anyways, <laughs> but we knew the Washington connection, but the Sheltons come from England in two parts, Nottingham, where Robin Hood was from. Wow. And they were um, law enforcement. Um, but the wild one is uh, my mom found out that it was Anne Boleyn Shelton, who was the Queen of England, wow. who was married to King Henry the Eighth, and I think he married her, divorced her, and beheaded her. Oh wow! And that's, lately, that's a little harsh. I've had a lot of people <laughs> trying to knock my head off too, <laughs> but we knew we were linked to American royalty, if you would. But to find out that maybe we were linked to the Queen, but greater, we all have royalty in our veins, that's right. not just because Shelton but because we're kids of the king. That's right. And thank you. I'm thrilled. And uh, I haven't been back on this set since Brother Bob, the founder of the great CTN, died. Yeah. And um, I don't think I'm wrong to say this. My new book came out last summer. We taped here. It was the number one new release on Amazon when it came out. Fabulous. God, Brother Bob, and CTN had a huge hand. Yay. Him and his wife and I went to Olive Garden around the corner. They drove me back. I get out of this studio and the Holy Spirit said, take a look at Bob because this will be the last time you see him on this side wow. of heaven. Wow. And sure enough, shortly wow. thereafter, he's with the Lord. And I really believe this, what God has put in your lap is a chance for you to continue the great CTN legacy. Yeah. So God is proud and I think Bob is smiling. So it's thrilled to be back and well done. Yeah. I'm so humbled and I'm so grateful. I, I loved Bob and, and Jane and, yeah. and I loved Molly oh, as yeah. well. And she and I got to do lots of ministry uh, partnerships together. And, and so yes, this station is very precious. Amen. In fact, I got born again through this station. Oh, that's amazing. And I really didn't put the pieces together until his funeral. Look at the Lord. Yeah. Uh, through his uh, sitting at his funeral, I just was weeping and weeping, of mm. course, weeping for him, yeah. but then weeping that his life directly affected totally. me. And it's just like you were talking, there's so many full circles. I think we only mm. get small glimpses of them. When we get to heaven, I think that's why we're going to be saying, Holy, oh, holy, oh, holy, yeah, because if, we're going to see amen. all of the things. In fullness, yeah. not in part. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, yeah I, I'm convinced the maps and the Bible are, and the concordance is not only anointed, it all points towards Christ and the cross. And, it does. And so, and plus CTN has always stayed true to the message. They have. And y'all are evangelistic. And I've always said, if you promote him, he'll promote you. He will. So we just keep promoting the gospel. Yeah, and yeah. Bob was a soul winner. Oh, without and, a doubt. Yep, yeah, that will continue. Amen. Well, welcome back from Israel. Thank you. It was <laughs> talk about you know, oh, you know, everywhere you look, you just see yeah. everything pointing to Jesus, Amen. Yeshua, his soon return, mm -hmm. all all connected. You know. Yeah, and following his footsteps. Yeah. It, it was look, we could do ten shows on that. So, Amen. but I want to talk about you. Oh no. Um, you know, Proverbs 18, 16 says that a man's gift will make room for him and will put him before kings, kings and, and princes great men. and great men. One of my favorites. Yeah. There you go. Amen. And you know, um, you, God has put you in front of some amazing people. It's been wild. Yeah. It's and all God. He trusted you. Yeah. Well, at 13, I went to go see a Rambo 2 contest <laughs> and I said, what's this? They said, kid, it's a chance to spend the weekend with Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> And they said, but you have a better chance of getting struck by <laughs> lightning. Well, God works in mysterious ways. My godmother and I won. We gave Stallone a Bible when I was 13. Wow. And here I'm toe to toe in Hollywood sharing the gospel with wow. the biggest action star in Hollywood history. And then fast forward 20 years later, I'm preaching to 7,000 at a Casting Crowns concert. And 
I said, I hear Sly's film in Rocky Six, I'd die to be an extra. And two days later, I get an email from LA. Mr. Shelton, we're filming the final fight scene in Vegas at Mandalay Bay. If you can get to Vegas, you can be an extra. And so they asked me to pray over the set of Rocky Balboa. Wow. I got another God. picture with Stallone. And just two weeks ago, I'm in Las Vegas. You talk about full circle. Stallone fought a heavyweight champ in real life named Tommy Morrison. Tommy Morrison now has a son who's 20 and 0. His first big fight was in Vegas. We filmed Rocky at Mandalay Bay. I'm staying at MGM Grand. And the heavyweight champ's son asked me, with 7 billion people on the planet, to be in the corner at the fight to pray for him as he climbs in through the ropes. And that's, it's just kind of surreal. But whether they were heads of state, Hollywood, or homeless, I was just gonna try to love on him and point him to Jesus. So yeah. there's a lot of stars, but the sun is where the answer is. Yeah. So we just keep our eyes on the sun.